It's your boy T-Bird from the reaction. Um, some extra video I'm do before uh, I'm trying to laugh. I wanted to get out the way. So, um, I came, as I said, I've seeing this on my timeline. It came out today, a couple days actually. You know, anything we care about stays, I always got to check out some time. And this one is a good one. It said, we deserve better from our gop singer than Jonathan Reynolds. I like what he mean by that. I, 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 I wanted to take a, cl a glimpse of what's going on. So, I guess... The video is of John Reynolds is uh singing some classic R and B song by Tevin Campbell. Can we talk? And I see I, I haven't seen Kevin Osage reaction. Yeah, I just get glimpses to see what's going on. I mean, I am not I'm not knocking I'm not knocking Mick Reynolds at all. though what I'm saying because you know everybody had their story. Now saying he probably grew up listening to Tevin Campbell and everything. So. I'm not pro I got no problem with it though. The thing about the thing about me and gospel and church and church folks though, I like folks that are down to earth, not like it's better to have guys who are down to earth that's okay with stuff that's outside of church or anything because they they're keeping it real. They know what they've been in anything. They're not they're not putting up the front like they never they ain't forgot where they came from or anything. Because the ones that are uppity and all that, the church uppity, that is the word you got to work from. Not saying Kevin Osei is one of them, but I dealt with, I been around folks like that, though. They be so uppity in my church, but churchy, all super churchy, but aside from that, they, uh, they are bigger sinner than the ones that they, they, uh, co condemn, I should say. But anyway, let's check out this video with Kevin Osei. Let's get it. Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. So can we talk? You sound good about it. I gotta say what you about to say. Girl, I want to know your name. Okay, John. But here we go. See, Jesus, your gospel singers are down here singing R&B and acting like they don't know what they're going to do. I didn't know it. I didn't know it could do that. Well, I'm very surprised. What do you mean? You know what I mean? Look at my face. I'm very surprised that I was able to do that run that I know I'm able to perfect. Enough, Johnny Max. I mean, you really should be ashamed of yourself, Johnny Mac. You know how many church girls are in the heat right now? Ooh, he, he a bad boy. I can talk to me. You can talk to me. Can't we talk about Jesus? Focus your heart, Jonathan McReynolds. There's church girls who are confused now because you're not singing of the Lord. Where's the guitar? You don't even play that anymore? You're down to R&B? Wow, bro. I thought you were different. Where are the gospel singers who have the heart of a true worshiper who will not go and forsake the love? He laughs because he know he he ain't serious. Christ to participate in an R&B challenge for for glitz and glamour and fame. Okay, you're not slick. You should be singing the song of, of Psalms. <laughs> You know, he knew he he knew he's dumb. He knew it. He knew it. <laughs> See, West Side Gun is a phenomenal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, he knew. He knew. He knew he ain't serious. <laughs> he she tried it too. Yeah, he had messed up a lot. I mean, I figured Kevin's just being the fun. Cause I feel like Kevin's just pretty much making fun of folks who are who do go there. That's why he laughed, and that's what that was all about. I figured I had a feeling. <laughs> I had a feeling though. You know Kevin on stage, he he'll do anything that he, he he's a jokester, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I figured that. He pretty much is like this he's just uh <laughs> he he like imitating those per, those who do act like that. Cause there's folks that will act like that. I remember a while back when um when uh, Erica, I think if I say her name right, I think it's Erica from Mary Mary, uh, did that song I love guys like a hip hop gospel traps trap trap or anything, and folks were feeling it. Now I'm saying, and then then he had this, then he had the gospel who's supposed to be super spiritual and all that was being super haters. It was really funny. I remember this one. There was this one girl who stuck, who was supposed to, be, who was doing videos from. This is way before I was doing reaction videos or anything. And this one girl, crazy. She was all about crazy, but she was crazy. In the van, was saying, was talking, was condemning the hell out of Erica over that, and looking like a fool. That's all I'm gonna say. 
And I think this was like, this is pretty much Kevin says as he's doing a parody of folks like that. He wasn't serious. I, he, I don't think he was serious. He was just being a parody like that. But there are folks who are serious like that, that, that talks like that, act like that over um, gospel singer, singers of not being, that do stuff other stuff in gospel. But think of all that, that, that it's okay. To, especially to me. Because you know, it's, it, it, make, it make you feel I got I like folks who are into the gospel right? they also down to earth, know where they came from, know where they been, how they grew up. Like, heck, Shirley Caesar was part of a tribute to I think it was Rita Franklin, Paley Bell, I think one of the tributes, and she sung some stuff too. And people still love, adore, and respect Pastor Shirley Caesar. So it's no it's, so it's no big deal. Now I'm seeing a lot of of current gospel is influenced by Current R and B and current hip hop, you know, to help get folks into you know knowing getting getting to know Jesus and the Lord as well as well too. Not feeling like they that not feeling like you know it's uh not not so you won't feel like they gotta um not be themselves. You know what I'm saying exactly like they they can still be itself, but you know worship worship and cherish cherish the Lord. Anything you know what I'm saying. The right Christian way, not the other Christian way that folks so against because they feel like it's going against slavery. Not that one, but being spiritual, being uh, spiritual with the Lord and everything. And um, that's good. It's good to have folks to see stuff like seeing stuff like what John from Reno do with all that. You know, is down there. It's not going. Shouldn't make you feel like you feel like uh something's going on with with gospel and all that. It should make you feel more welcome. That you know they're not uppity. They are all about they all about serving the Lord, but they also like to have fun and be down, be be a regular person like anybody else. You know what I'm saying, yeah, we're the ones who are who act all high and mighty and holy down and all this. The one you need to worry about more, but that's another story. But other than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's your boy T. Bress signing off. One love.